We've been in the RV for three weeks. Has it been that long? Yeah, it's been three weeks. Time flies. And one of the first issues that has come up is the heat. It's hot. It's hot. It is hot. It's we are hot. in East Central Alabama, and it's hot. So we figured we'd do a video today about how to beat the heat in your RV because we figured out a couple of tricks and tips to reduce the temperature by a few degrees and when it's this hot outside a few degrees makes a big difference it's a big deal so here we go These are our top 10 tips to beat the heat in your RV. Say that 10 times fast. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, number 10, have a realistic expectation. Now that's not a really a tip to cool it off, but it is a tip to just have a realistic expectation because yeah. you have to realize you're in an RV and you can really only expect it to get 15 to 20 degrees cooler in your RV than it is outside. Yeah. And for us, it's been in the 90s. High mm -hmm. 90s. Yeah, so when yeah. it's in the high 90s, you can expect it to be in the high 70s in your RV. Mm -hmm. So number nine is, if you can, geographically move to a cooler location. <laughs> we're kind of trapped right now because we're sitting in central Alabama, well, east, Eastern, Eastern Central Alabama and we can't really leave because we're here helping our daughter get enrolled in school and getting all her stuff done for college um, but if we were able to we would just pack up and move further north where it's cooler so next year we'll be at a cooler location uh, so if you can if you are mobile our beer move to a cooler spot um, when, the, when, the, when the heat turns up wherever you're at and then whenever it gets cooler Move by the south. <laughs> That's our plan anyway. Chase the sun, run away from the from the cold weather. Like we want warm, but yeah. we won't want like Africa hot. We just exactly we want yeah tolerable hot. And we really don't even know where those locations are yet. We got to figure that we out. Research. We'll research on that and kind of that's how we'll plan our routes and trying to keep from using the air conditioner too much. Trying to keep from using the furnace too much but um, for now we're stuck so we got to figure out a way to make cooler in here yes which leads us to number eight which is if you can get a site where the Sun rises and sets in the best possible location to your RV we are finding yeah. it painful in our spot and for us the whole RV park is set up to where everyone's parking in the same way yeah so there was not an option for us to park strategically better no so the sun rises and there's not a whole lot of trees yeah there's not a lot of cover so yeah. if you can get a site maybe at a state park with some more cover that's good too so for us the sun rises on the side that we don't have hardly any windows on which mm -hmm. is good for us in the morning time we can go out and the shade is is out in our living space in our, in our yard and it's comfortable in the evening it sets right here and shoots right into these windows and makes it super hot and even if you go outside the sun's hitting that side of the rv all the large sites which one of the ones we we're in are facing in the direction that puts us in the in the sun in the evening unfortunately and the ones that do have any potential shade from the wood line are permanent placed rvs yeah they live there Full time. And it was crazy too because when I was researching where we were going to stay and I looked at like, Google Earth, there was this huge tree right next to the site that we we got assigned to and I was like, sweet, you're going to have awesome shade. It's going to be cool. And then when we get here, it's a stump. <laughs> they cut it down. <laughs> so we, yeah. we, don't have, we don't have shade. No. But it's got a cool stump for Scout though. Yeah, he climbs the stump and he hangs out. And, <laughs> And it's got like a little flower garden. We put our little flags there and 
of us. But it's pretty cool. But no. Um, so anyway, we're moving right along to tip number seven. Tip number seven is close your shades. And some people actually even not only close their shades, but they buy like the Reflexit, which is, it looks like the window visors that you put in your car. So they're reflecting material and they put it in the windows and put their shades down, which reflects a lot of the sunlight. So the pro to that is you keep out a lot of the heat. Mm -hmm. The con, you can't see out your windows. Yes. That's, and that's my biggest issue. I want to be able to see out. I want to oh. see natural light. I want Scout to be able to see out. Scout loves it. Check him out. I'm not blocking his view. He's chilling. I will melt before I <laughs> don't let him have his view. <laughs> now we do close some of them, but just with the shades. We haven't used the Reflexit yet, but we wanted to mention that because we've seen a lot of people talking about that and they swear by it. Yeah. So if, if you don't want to look out, or you're cool with that, you don't have a guy like this that wants to look out all the time. Um, but we do, the ones that he's not looking out, we will close those, the ones that are, that are the lights shining yeah. in, so that helps. All right. What's the next tip? Would be extending out your awnings. Yes, that's helped a lot. That does help. And even though late in the afternoon, it doesn't cast a lot of shade on our living space, on our grass. Mm -mm. But even when the sun is pretty high, the awnings will keep the sun out of the windows. Yeah. Yeah, that'll help for that. So that helps. So as long as there's not like strong wind going on, extend your awnings, that'll help out. But tip number five is wearing some cool or wicking clothing or material which neither one of us are wearing right not, now. Not today. No. Uh, we wish we went out with friends. Um, actually, the people who bought our house. Yes. We just went out to we lunch, lunch with them. With them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we normally, on, on most days, we'll wear the, the really light t-shirts. Uh, light colored clothing, wicking material, cooling materials, uh, things like that. So um, that's just, and shorts. I yeah. have to wear my shoes all day, but you don't wear shoes all day. No. So you go barefoot, so that, that, that lets you cool off a little bit better. But um, but the wicking shirts that I bought and the tank tops, so much better to deal with the heat. Yeah, for sure. It's not as heavy. It's so light, you don't even realize you're wearing it. And I'm a sweater. I sweat easy. So. It's unfortunate. It is. You should get that looked at. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just, I just go looking a little shiny right now. I probably am. <laughs> so we were outside saying our goodbyes, and I was starting to get drenched because I'm wearing a regular cotton shirt. And it's not even really that hot out right now. It's yeah, like it's humid, 80 humid. Yeah. right now. But, the but sun, it don't take yeah. much for me. So the, the, sun the wicking out. material shirts have been a blessing for me. Yeah, they help a lot. Okay, what are we on four? Yeah, number four would be circulating the air in your RV. That's one of the best ones. Yeah. That's one of the best tips. So Keep it moving. If you have a ceiling fan in your RV, kick on the ceiling fan. That'll, for summertime, counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. That's going to push the cool air down. It's going to circulate the air that's uh, coming out of your air conditioner. Mm -hmm. It's going to actually push it down faster to get the, the cool air down faster. And for us, we have two air conditioners. We have an air conditioner in the main living area where we're at right now. And then we have another air conditioner which controls up in the, the bedroom and bathroom area. That's a smaller area. Yeah. So it gets cool. cooler up there mm -hmm. a lot faster. So what do we do to help push some of the air down here? Got a fan. Yep. One of just the little fans. It's from the Dollar General. We sit in the hallway and it takes some of the air from up there and pushes it, pushes it down here. So it kind of evens out. This is such a big space, a especially big. with the slides out. The slides out. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to keep cool in here, and this air conditioner out here doesn't keep up as well as the one up there. And we tried opening the vents, because we were reading that, that if you crack your vents, that'll help. I didn't find that it really helped. No, and we, when we were doing this, we were just trying. We were going to add that to the tips if it worked. For us, it did. And some people said it, it does. We tried it, and we, what we were talking about is like the... The fan vent. The fan vents you can turn on suck the air out and like there's one in the bathroom and then there's one here yeah. we did that and it really didn't for us we didn't see a difference but, not enough uh, to keep it open yeah so we just didn't didn't include that but if it works for you hey keep rocking it man mm -hmm. all right um, number three is clean out all your vents and your filters um, we found that when we took the the mm -hmm. covers off of the vents that there was still some debris in there from yeah. where the manufacturer had they left some like sawdust and stuff like that and then also 
when they put that thermal tape in there they didn't push it down so it's like up there and it's blocking some of the flow yeah, it's like flapping up because it's catching air yeah so all you gotta do is open those vents and just take your hand and just push it back down where the adhesive side pushes back up against the styrofoam and just being up there on the ladder and doing that and pushing that stuff down you could tell the difference there was still some uh, still some styrofoam up there and like I said wood chips and then we, ch we checked the the filters on the vents on the intakes mm -hmm. or outtakes or whatever the one that pulls That's the hot air vents. out <laughs> they have filters on them they have like the, the big filters Foam. and some of that had some sawdust mm -hmm. some manufacturing leftover stuff um, so we're supposed to check those like once a month we check yeah. those we clean those out um, we clean those out and that will help your air flow and we, be, we checked the coils on, on top we did we went up, up on the make RV sure just to make sure blocking yeah it wasn't blocked by leaves or debris because where we were parked at before did have a lot of trees trees and it did have leaves falling down so we want to make sure it didn't get sucked up and stuck up against that and you also want to make sure that your your thing doesn't have any, any damage so if you're yeah. I don't even know what that's called the coils the coil, yeah. if the coils are damaged and smashed in um, that can prevent the airflow so then you just take like a, a little tool Something separate, separate those, again, those straight things again. back up and it should help you out ours was not damaged and it was clean no, ours looked great. so not bad all right number two would be either replace or modify the vent covers that come in there because ours are fixed mm -hmm. they don't adjust we cannot change we can turn them and mm -hmm. shoot in a different direction but the slats are permanent yeah they're so if this is your ceiling they're only at a small angle so it's shooting air across the top of the ceiling so you you can't adjust it to where the, the flaps can't come damper down. them yeah so, yeah so they do make those covers that that do adjust that you can slide and they they come out more and then we we saw some people who have modified theirs yeah and they modified that by just taking every other slide out. slat out yeah. uh, they did that with just a, a box cutter or whatever and they said that improved a lot we didn't do that i haven't done that yet um, i think it might replace we part. will probably replace with the ones that will do it instead of instead of cutting those those up um if it gets really hot though we even um we just removed a couple of the vent covers for a little for a little bit the ones that were closest to us right here mm -hmm. we just popped those off took them off for a little bit and then that air is just shooting straight down especially the one that's right above the ceiling fan right there so it just shoots that cold air down super quickly and that dropped the the temperature in here by a couple degrees pretty quickly yeah and actually we had to uh, when it started, aesthetically yeah, pleasing. Because it's a hole in the roof. It's a hole. Yeah, it looks but, like a hole in the roof. Yeah. Uh, but even in the evenings, we had to put those put back because it, it was getting cold. Yeah. Because it was just shooting the cold air Direct too fast. Yeah. I know you'd be on the edge of your seat for this entire video wondering what the number one tip is to keep you cool. <laughs> and this is the best way that we found out to keep us cool. Mm -hmm. So the number one tip to beat the heat in your RV this summer. Ah, you got <laughs> to have popsicles. Yeah. They really do cool you internally. Yeah. They? they do. We're not just being funny. Yeah. <laughs> it really works. Yeah. It's refreshing. I feel cooler already. <laughs> <laughs> like I even have done it, cut them up in a bowl. All three flavors to have just eat a bowl bite size. That's good. It keeps me cool. Yeah, I mean, not just pet popsicles, but you eat like some cold jello, drink a cold drink, cold beverage of your choice. <laughs> yeah. You know? Uh huh. And I know we said that popsicles is the number one tip <laughs> for beating the heat. But, I got a bonus tip for you. Mm. <laughs> bonus. Bonus. Here's the bonus tip. Oh boy. Get naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's my favorite one. Uh, yeah. She wouldn't let me put it on the list. No. But it's a good tip. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not right. popular if you have children around. Look, you can get naked and eat popsicles at the same time. Yeah. Well, we can. 
Not everybody can. I mean, if you are in your RV eating a popsicle naked <laughs> and you're still not cool enough, RV life might not be for you, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you may think you're cool, but you'll never be naked in an RV eating a popsicle pool. Mm -hmm. It's a special <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's our tips for beating the heat in your RV. We hope some of this helped you. If you have more tips, uh, let us know. And as always, on Sunday, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.